up you guys this is Rob from Gay Guy Plays and today on the Daily Grind we are back with another installment of Rob Reads You Shit that you probably don't want to read yourself. So as you can see Mask of the Revenant update 23.6.0 has dropped. There have been a couple changes to Revenant, the Phantasma shotgun, but the big thing that is going to be launching soon not at this moment, but soon, supposedly sometime today, maybe, we'll see what happens with that, is the Pyrus Project. So, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a read from D.E. Drew. The Pyrus Project going live soon on PC until September 13th. So there's going to be some time to go ahead and get all of this done and get any rewards that you need to get from it. Um, four years ago, Vehek launched an unprecedented attack on our relays. We defeated his Fremorians, but not, not before three of our relays were destroyed. Now, it's time to rebuild. Cressa Tal and Steel Meridian are marshalling the reconstruction efforts. Tal is in dire need of valuable resources to rebuild the Strata Relay on Earth. Find them, deliver them, and she will reward you for your efforts. Be warned, Sargus Ruck and the Grenier will not make things easy for you. Tenno, show them that we will not be intimidated. So there is a guide that is linked. I'm actually going to go ahead and read it for you guys in a second, but I do want to go ahead and take a look at the Revenant fixes and changes because there are some cool things here that I definitely wanted to make note of and some things that I actually made note of in my own video. Um, and Thrall Cap has now uh, been increased from 4 to 7. So I'm actually going to go ahead and play around with it, see if there's any like feeling about it if it's if it feels better i mean i feel like seven is of course going to be better than four but you know we'll, we'll see what happens um so developer note we listened to the feedback that four was too few so we buffed the number to match necros's max shadows okay that makes sense because i was wondering where they got the number seven from i'm like just round it up round it up to 10 because 10 is a nice round number i don't know if that triggers you guys uh, much either but now that necros has 10 you know clearly the thralls can be 10 too uh, Dance Macabre energy cost increased from 12.5 to 20 energy per second. We're going to be testing this in a second to see exactly how it feels um, because of the fact that in keeping with changes we've made to Warframes in the past to deter from the set it and forget it approach, we've increased the energy per second on Dance Macabre. We are hoping that Enthrall's cap increases. You can benefit from more overshield pickups with Dance Macabre. We're always looking to iterate on your feedback. Pre please leave us yours in the dedicated Revenant feedback mega thread. Where's the you fucked up on veteran rewards mega thread? Because I would like to leave some feedback there, and maybe you could go ahead and take those, uh, take those little points and do something with them. But regardless, uh, Reeve now looks more like Bombalist Charge. I can't wait to see how that does. Added effects and a sound when Mesmer ends. All right, that's nice. Um, Fixed Dance Macabre showing zero energy per second in his ability section. Fixed Dance Macabre becoming stuck while sliding. Uh, fixed the script error where you cast Revenant and Thrall on a roller or other similar enemies. Fixed Mesmer not reflecting status effects. Oh, now it reflects status effects. That's going to be nice. Um, so let's see. If you have Revenant building in your foundry, the final stage of the Mask of the Lost One will now progress instead of requiring you to claim the completed Warframe. Nice. So they've done a lot of like bug fixing for the quest because I've heard that a lot of you guys had issues there um, and it's, it's good to know. Now moving on to the Phantasma alt fire. I think this was the only other thing that I really uh, felt was worth noting. I'm kind of looking at it really really quick to see if there's anything else but they did say that the Phantasma alt fire now seeks targets in all directions instead of behind the projectile which will definitely be nice. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Um, so give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the simulacrum and we'll see how all of those Revenant changes feels and then we'll take a look at the Pyrus project notes. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start off with the Phantasma and see exactly how it does with its seeking. See if it's any better at it. Okay, it's it's slightly better. I'm not going to say that I think that it was amazing. Oh, it's doing... Okay. Like, the earlier one, though, that we shot, like, right about here didn't seem to... No, it's probably just out of its range. Did you see that? They kind of, like, inspired expired before they got to him but it looks like they're doing better okay i'm gonna i'm gonna call that as a thumbs up on the changes did you see a couple of those died before they got to him oh that's that's just a feels bad moment 
that's just a feels bad moment. But you know what? At least the seeking is a little bit better and I'll seek nearby enemies. Um, let's go ahead and kill that corrupted bombard real quick. And then let's go ahead and get our little mix of bombards and um, bombards and heavy gunners in. And then we'll go ahead and give him a try when it comes to survivability. Let's do a little bit of you. Let's do a little bit of you. Oh, nine? Why? Is there still... I should be able to do 10. I should be able to do 10. There you go. So we've got 10. We'll turn off invincibility. And let's see how everything kind of plays out, please. And for those of you who are curious, this is actually um, the build that I was using previously um, when it came to the kind of, what is it called? Um, when it came to my Umbral build. So if you guys are curious at all what build this is, I mean, this should be like a majority of these, to be honest with you. Should be... Um, should be this. Ooh, the Pyrus Project! Is that just a notification or is that actually live? You know what? This is not bad. It still feels it still feels halfway decent. We've still got thralls out there. And the thralls are making other thralls. Yes. Yes. Overshield pickups. Okay, okay. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling the seven. I'm feeling the seven right now, and the Pyrus Project is going live. So at least that way you guys can go ahead and take a look at it while I read you the patch notes, and then I'll get back to you later. This is consuming a lot more energy. And keep in mind um, that I am doubling that I am doubling the energy, just in case you were curious at all. I have I have risen into the heavens. <laughs> Regardless, I think that that was actually pretty damn good. I have to say that I did uh, like the changes. It did feel like the 7 was a nice improvement, to be completely honest with you. Let's just go ahead and finish off these guys real quick, um, just to get the feeling. Um, but the the energy consumption, I don't feel like is too bad at all this time around. Um, as you can see, as you can see, uh, let's, oh, let's uh, take a look at the new effects. I forgot about the new effects for uh, for the, for that one. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like they've just got little hand dashes, which is what they've got going on over there. Um, so not bad. I'm going to say that overall, I like the changes. They do feel a little bit better. We'll um, take them into actual gameplay. Maybe we'll do a re-review after uh, we do some fashion framing for Revenant if I decide that I feel like doing fashion frame for Revenant. Um, but regardless, since the project is launching, let's go ahead and read those patch notes right now. All right, so D. Daniel has this posted and the Pyrus project is going live soon. So soon, in fact, that it was in the middle of this recording. Um, but let's take a look at what it is that we need to do. So assist the Steel Meridian with what they've called the Pyrus project as an effort to rebuild the strata relay. Complete the four reconstruction tasks list below and donate their acquired resources by bringing them to Cressetal, located in the strata relay construction site located on Earth. The following tasks can be completed in any order. Contribute Pyrus Exons. Collect a total of 30 Pyrus Exences, oh my god, I can't say essences, and contribute it to the relay reconstruction site. Pyrus Essence is collected from essence carriers on Earth Mercury, Saturn, and Ceres. You'll receive a transmission from Cresso when an Essence Carrier is located in your mission. Essence Carriers looks like Eximus enemies, and they have a special icon identifying their location within the mission similar to Synthesis targets. Nice. Contribute Relay Strut Components. Craft a total of five Relay Strut Components and contribute them to the Relay Reconstruction Site. A reusable Relay Strut Component Blueprint has been delivered to your inbox so that you may craft uh, the required components. Relay struck components required uh, t t Trembra Essence, which is acquired the same way as Pyrus Essence. Okay, so basically, we just need to go look for things on Earth, Mercury, Saturn, and Ceres um, for these essences. And then, complete a Samaris daily synthesis task. Uh, speak with Cephalon Samaris. Why can't the C's and the S's today are fucking me up? In one of the current standing relays and begin the daily synthesis task by selecting do you have any targets and ex accepting to perform the synthesis. To perform synthesis, you must own have you must own and have synthesis scanners equipped. You can purchase 25 of them from Samaris in the relay for 5,000 credits. Um, connect siphon traps can also be purchased from Samaris to help making scanning the synth synthesis targets a breeze. 
And then the last is defeat the Grustrag 3. The Grustrag 3 are disrupting construction processes, lure them out and eliminate them. During the Pyrus project, the Grustrag 3 have a chance of spawning in any regular mission with enemies that are higher than level 3 on Earth, Mercury, Ceres, Saturns, whether or not you are marked by them. And last is unlock the new strata relay. Ooh, looks pretty. By working with Cressa Tall, we shall rebuild the strata relay. It will stand as a shrine to those who fell in battle and a reminder to the Grenier that our will cannot be crushed. Completing the reconstruction task will grant you access to the new strata relay. Awesome. Um, what you need to know, you can track the task progress by hovering over the strata relay construction site node on Earth, bring up the task list. This list is also available in the reconstruction site hangar next to Cressa Tall. You can contribute Pyrus Essence and crafted relay strut components by speaking with Cressa Tall located in the strata relay reconstruction site hangar. You can jump to the relay reconstruction site at any time by opening up the event tab in the world state window, clicking on contribute in relay. Get a sneak peek of the new strata relay by opening up the new event tab in the world state window and clicking on select image to preview option. So let's talk about this real quick because legitimately, why does this look like a red veil thing and not really a steel meridian thing? There feels like a lot of edgelord going on in this. I mean, I'd like it to be a little bit cleaner, you know, but maybe that's just my preference. I don't know, you guys let me know how you feel. Essence carriers start to destabilize after you've downed them. Capture them before the 30 seconds runs down to collect Essence. Um, so let's see what else they got. The Pyrus Project specific. Uh, the Pyrus Project special code name used by Steel Meridian for the Strata Relay Reconstruction. Essence carriers, um, enemy units that appear like Eximus units are marked to identify them as Pyrus and Tremembra Essence carriers. Um, Pyrus Essence, special resource used to build the strata relay, collect them from Essence Carriers. Tarumbra Essence, a uh, special resource used to build the strata relay, collect them from the Essence Carriers. And then relay strut component, special item crafted in the foundry used to rebuild the strata relay. Um, so there's a frequently asked questions uh, in there and it goes, how do I participate in the uh, Pyrus project? You will receive the inbox message from Cressa Tal when you log in. She will explain what you need to do to rebuild the strata relay. Start with any of the listed tasks and work your way to completing them all. Do I need to be in a clan to participate in the Pyrus project? The Pyrus project is completely a community led effort. So there are no clan or competitive components to it. We're excited to have Arteno come together and leave their mark on the soul system by rebuilding one of our lost relays. Uh, where do I find Pyrus and Terembra Essence? It's kind of like you put this at the end, but you made them read through the whole thing already. Anyway, well, I'll leave that there for you guys if you guys really need to jump back to it. But let's finish this off um, with this. Uh, the reconstruction effort lasts until September 13th and is available to all to Tenno of all mastery ranks. Together, we'll show the Grenier that we cannot be crushed. Good luck, Tenno. All right. So that about does it for this. I feel like I've been talking for ages about um, everything that's going on with this project, but it's gonna go live very, very soon. It's probably even live right now as we speak. So be sure to jump on in. Um, if I have anything further to say about it, I'll go ahead and make another video, but that about does it for me for now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the changes to Revenant to the Phantasma Shotgun, and don't, be, don't, don't forget to make sure you participate in this event. I feel like we didn't, is, was there even a reward they didn't give us any kind of reward i mean i guess the new strata relay is a reward maybe there's something special there uh regardless that about does it for me for now so as always love somebody hurt nobody and touch your body i'll see you guys next time Bye bye